How are you doing? Lawrence, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like this movie. Garth, trust me, girls like those kind of movies. All we have to do is invite F over and one of us is bound to... I just don't see why the main character can't just announce his feelings for her in the beginning. Huh. Then there wouldn't be a need for a movie. Garth, shush. Look. She's on the phone. Good to hear. Hey, uh, listen. I wanted to give you a call because it's been a while since I've last seen you, and I wanted to see if you wanted to come over to my place and... Who is she talking to? I don't know, but if it's a guy, I don't like the sound of it. <gasps> Lawrence, are we eavesdropping on her conversation? It's for love. Eh? Well, I wanted to ask you about that too. <laughs> uh, what? Are you serious? You will? But I haven't even asked. <sighs> I can't believe you remembered. I'm just really nervous about doing this too. I haven't told anyone else about this and, well, I'm just afraid no one else will take it well. What the? <sighs> Who the heck is she talking to? You're coming over. Uh, are you sure? I mean, I don't think I'm ready. Really? <sighs> you, you seriously are the best. I swear I could kiss you for this. <gasps> what? No. Okay, I I'll see you in a few minutes then. Talk to you soon. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. She she's gonna kiss him? No. Garth, man up. This is no time for whipping out. Hey, speak for yourself. I already got a kiss in. That may be true, but you haven't gotten the girl yet. Now, we need to get to the bottom of who this mystery man is. Knowing her, it's probably somebody handsome. Are you kidding me? Look at us, Garth. We're two fine specimens of men. Look, if she really did find somebody she wants to kiss, that didn't force a kiss on her... Hey! Then it's probably somebody she's like... Taking on a pity date or something. Someone super ugly who she just felt really sorry for. You're right. Her kind nature. She would be one to put herself in that situation. Right? This guy is probably a major jerk. Yeah, with some kind of... Pirate. Leg. Really? That's what you think of when you think... Ugly? I... I mean... What if the pirate leg has splinters? I'm pretty sure you just made Mr. Ugly super cool. I mean, she won't be very happy if she gets a splinter, right? Hey guys. Yo, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Aaron? Uh, no, not him! It can't be him! It's him. Dang it! We gotta compete with a pirate pig like Jerk Creep, but Aaron? We have to break them up. Garth? If anyone deserves a chance at Aphmau, it's you or me. Not some guy who's got amazing abs, a deep, luscious voice, a well chiseled face, and eyes as dreamy as the night sky. Garth? I'm pretty sure all the Garmau fans are now madly in love with him after you described him like that. There's no time to waste! Garth, wait! I just... I really just hope I'm making the right choice here. I mean... There's just so many different... So many different things running through my mind. I'm fine, Aaron. It's just... You and I have only known each other for so long, and... You're right, maybe I should, but... I don't know. What should I do? Senpai, please just tell me. I mean, if only you were real. Huh. I just... Uh, uh, no, no, uh, no, no, I'm not talking to the poster, I'm just talking to myself. 
and the poster just happens to be in front of me. Uh. Why are you pacing around? You shouldn't be too worried about this kind of thing. You're a grown woman who can make your own choices. Aaron, I'm just so conflicted. I feel like... I feel like maybe I should have at least told Lawrence and Gareth. <laughs> They're grown men. They'll understand. <laughs> Aaron, it's... No, it's gonna be hard for them not to notice. They live literally right next to me. I'm pretty sure that they moved into this very apartment building to be close to me, too. It just... <sighs> this just feels so wrong not telling them. <laughs> well, you've got me here for the time being. Why don't we make the most of our time together and get started? <sighs> You're right, Aaron. Thank you. It's just... I, I don't know. Uh... Who could that be? One second. Uh, hello? Uh, oh. Ma'am, we are the janitors of the building and noticed some pipes were busted. Uh, what? What he said. <laughs> uh, uh, you've gotta be kidding me! Did you see that? It's just... Uh, I, oh my gosh. Did they... Really just try to fool you with those terrible disguises? <sighs> you see what I'm talking about, Aaron? <laughs> You're right. I see what you mean. Shall we head out to see Caitlin then? <sighs> Let's. But I think and I think we should use the emergency exit. As it's in the bathroom. I just as much as I love Lawrence and Garth, I feel like I just need to take this slow before I tell them what's going on. It's just... Uh, there's so much that I... Uh, I don't know. Let's just take the emergency exit. I don't want to have to deal with them right now. Understandable. They've always been there for you. Doing this on your own without telling them will make them proud. <laughs> well, I'm not really alone with you here, am I? I'm here for moral support. Now let's go. You're right. Follow me. Thank you. I'm sorry, the dog just got between and... Are you serious? Ugh, there goes my deposit on this place. Uh, Aaron, let's go through the back. Hurry. Ugh, I swear I need some coffee or something, just... Uh, breakfast is always the best time to like, it's always the best thing to get, you know? It's just, I don't know, breakfast is just always relaxing. I can't wait to get a menu. Um, those two didn't look too happy about the whole me catching you situation. <laughs> uh, Lawrence and Garth always assume the worst. I'm so sorry, Aaron. It's just, honestly, it's such a pain that I can't hang out with other guys without them Assuming something is going on between us. <sighs> so, you're saying nothing is going on? What? Uh, huh? I mean, the whole surprise thing. That's something that's going on, right? <sighs> oh, okay, wait, you're being... You're actually being literal here. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. I'm just used to witty replies from Lawrence to those kinds of things, I guess. It's... Sorry. I take no offense. I'm not here to hit on you. I'm simply here to... Welcome to IHOP. May I take your... Oh! Caitlin! Hey! <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to be our our waitress. Uh, Athmau, what are you doing here with Aaron? I'm really embarrassed for you to see me in... Uh, this outfit. Ugh. It's so degrading. <laughs> Caitlin, you look beautiful in that outfit. I don't see why you're so shy about these kinds of things. Pfft. I didn't ask for your opinion on my beauty. I'm just upset I can't make a full living off the martial arts school Nicole and I opened. I have to take this job. Ugh. So, what can I get for you guys? Um, I'm actually really glad you're here, Caitlin, because uh, there's something that I wanted to talk to you about, if you wouldn't mind. Speaking of which, I want to talk to you about something in private. Aaron, would you please excuse us? 
Oh, um, okay, yeah, I'll be right back, Aaron. Uh, pardon me. Uh, so, uh, Caitlin, what's going on? Um, there we go. So what's up, Caitlin? Is, um, everything okay with you? Afmao, you didn't tell me anything about you dating Aaron today. I swear, if I had known, I would have done something a little more special for you guys. Wait, what? What? No! Caitlin! I mean, I kind of figured you'd go for Garth or, um, Lawrence. But Aaron? I would have never seen this coming from a hundred miles away. <sighs> Caitlin? No, it's not. I'm just glad you finally made up your mind and decided to settle on a guy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know you're not really into relationships, but come on, look at Aaron. He's a total hottie without the mask. Did I just really say that? Ugh, I'm so disgusted at my inner fangirl. Needless to say, he's definitely your type. He's so mature too. Uh, uh, Caitlin, Caitlin, we're n not dating. Oh, you mean... You're not? Oh, pst, pst, pst. No! <laughs> no, Aaron is just here helping me pack up some of my things for the move. M m move You're moving? How could you? After everything we've been through together, you don't think I just want to move somewhere else where I can focus on my martial arts training? But I can't because we all moved here together. You can't leave me alone in this world, Afmal. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Caitlin, if you would just let me talk, that's why I'm here. Listen to me, woman. Uh, oh, well then, um, what are you here to talk to me about, then? <laughs> oh. Caitlin, I want you to move in with me to my new place. Mama, moving in with you? Are you kidding me? Of course I will, yes! Oh gosh, w wait, where are we moving to? Um... <laughs> It's a small house in the suburbs. It's a three-bedroom house, so I'm looking for two female roommates. <laughs> Sweet. Who's the other lady? Um, I, I honestly don't know yet. You're the first lady that I've asked. Hmm, you don't know it? Kawaii-chan was just in here the other day talking to me about how she wants to move. Why don't you ask her? That is, if you don't have a problem with her. <laughs> that sounds perfect. Great. Let me go ask her. Caitlin Sama, Aaron couldn't see her, and Kawaii Chan saw him with Afmo. Oh my gosh. Um, Kawaii Chan. Do you think they're dating? They make such a Kawaii couple. But my Irene Lawrence Gun and Garth Gun will be crushed. Uh, does she really not see me? Kawaii Chan. I'm standing right here, literally breathing on you. Isn't Aaron couldn't dream me though? He's the cutest. Say, can we drop something on him on accident so he can remove his- Kawaii-chan, shut up! Caitlin-sama, what's gotten into you? You're usually for talking about cute gu- Uh... Before I pummel you into the ground, Afmao is standing right behind you, and she wants to have a few words with you on something. I'm leaving. Ugh. You're- so embarrassing. Uh, uh, Afmel Senpai is right behind me? <laughs> uh, hi, Kawaii-chan. I've been here the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you come here for a second, Kawaii-chan. <laughs> Afmao Senpai, please don't tell anyone what Kawaii Chan said about Eren. Kawaii Chan is so sorry. She didn't know Eren Kun and Afmao Senpai were dating. Oh my gosh. Kawaii Chan, we're not. My god. Oh, well, Kawaii Chan served you guys a couple's cake over there that you can share if Afmao Senpai did decide to date him. She whispers all giddy. It's only got one spoon. Uh, I'm like, I'm gonna smack you. Yeah! Why did you... Why did Afmao Senpai do that? Ow! Uh, um, Kawaii-chan guesses it's her fault for being nosy, but, um, so, 
Caitlin, Sama said you had something you wanted to talk to Kawaii chan about? Um... <laughs> well, I would love another spoon, because that would be great. Um... You see, Kawaii chan I'm moving out of my apartment, and I'm moving into the suburbs into a nice house. It's got three rooms, and so far, only two of those rooms are occupied. I was wondering if you'd be interested in moving in with Caitlin and I. It's a big house, and it's really nice, a definite upgrade from what we have right now, but would you like to move in? Uh, uh, really? Kawaii-chan would be so honored to live with Abmel senpai and Caitlin-sama. When do we move? <laughs> it's actually in a few days. Um, Aaron is actually here with me to help me pack up all my stuff and move it into the moving van. That's why he's here, and that's why I'm spending time with him. Oh, so that's why Atmel Senpai brought Aaron Kun to the diner. You wanted to thank him. Kawai Chan gets it. Well, Kawai Chan will bring you guys another spoon then. So sorry about the confusion. Let's meet up after Caitlin, Sama, and mine shift, and we can talk more about the move, okay? <laughs> Kawai Chan is so excited! <laughs> I'm glad you are, Kawai Chan. Just make sure you bring that spoon, okay? I seriously don't want any. One, thinking anything else is going on between me and Aaron, okay? <sighs> oh my gosh. So sorry about that. I see we got a cake. A couple's cake. Great. So sorry about that, Aaron. I just... <sighs> yeah. It's quite alright. I see Lawrence and Garth weren't the only ones to assume things were going on between you and I. <laughs> no, they weren't. We should just enjoy this meal together, though, right? I'm thinking about getting the pancakes. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really feel like... Uh, Lawrence? Garth? What are you guys doing? Where are all these cats? Uh, did you guys seriously try to get the cats to attack Aaron with a fish? You know what? Go home, you two. I'll talk with you guys later. See what I'm dealing with, Aaron? <sighs> anyway, should I get pancakes? 